Howlett is pointing in the direction the rifle would have been pointed. Notice how low the window is to the floor. We look out of the window over the reconstructed position of the boxes for a few seconds before we remove the boxes to photograph the simulated motorcade. This is a simulated motorcade as it turns from Main onto Houston Street. The two motorcycle policemen are the two men who were in the same relative position to the president's car at the time of the assassination. They assisted in determining the approximate speed of the president's car during the filming of these scenes. As you will notice in this scene, the turn from Houston onto Elm Street is quite sharp. The two motorcycle policemen said the turn was so slow they had trouble keeping their balance. In a moment, you can see the tree blocking the view of the car for a split second. The shot that struck the president's neck occurred shortly after the car comes into view from behind the tree, and the shot that struck his head when he was about 85 feet down the road. If the trajectory had permitted the bullet to strike the windshield or windshield chrome, the bullet would have penetrated it and traveled a substantial distance down the road unless it struck some other object en route. Therefore, the bullet probably passed through Governor Connolly's body and a subsequent shot penetrated the president's head. No other shot struck any part of the automobile and three shots were fired. So it follows that one shot probably missed the car and its occupants. The evidence is inconclusive as to whether it was the first, second, or third shot that missed. 